Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of WA Forby's Adventures. Today I'm out here with Ben and Dylan. Denny had a few commitments on so we couldn't get his car out. Anyway, we, I've got my car over there. We've just finished our air down. We've got Dylan and Ben here. Ben's also got part of our crew member, but he's also got his own channel. He'll have some footage up of this one as well on his channel. So check out Creative Customs Garage and our channel at the same time because he is part of our crew too. So we tag him in everything we do. And the boys are here. Let's be honest, Rob. And uh, I'm the main attraction. You wish, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna head out here. We're out here in the middle of Jilama. Jilama. We're gonna come out and explore this. We haven't done it before. Well, I haven't. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Come out here and see if I can get lost and get some good footage. Hopefully, <laughs> Danny, lost. you got to come on the next one. Remember that. Don't bitch out. This guy. This guy. So basically. Uh, yeah, I'm taking everyone out to get lost today. There you have it first. Dylan's leading this one. He's going to try and get us lost and see how he goes. Yep. Good so, luck. I've got a hammer. <laughs> we got the two ways going. We're just going to follow his directions. We're going to hit the track and we'll come back and see what we can find for you. And we'll see you very, very shortly. Hopefully with no damage. So far we haven't really found anything to do. Got a little bit of a puddle crossing. <laughs> that was it. But we're still traveling on the tracks out here at Jillamar State Forest. Um, Dylan's just trying to find his points that he's got pinpointed. I'm looking and doing a bit of research. And yeah, we had a little bit of a hill climb, but it wasn't really anything to video. It actually get out and set cameras up on because it was pretty mediocre. So uh, we're going to carry on, keep going on the track, see what we can come across. So far it's been a scenic drive. Cheers, we're back soon. This is how we do it, do it. This is how a kingdom comes. This is how we do it, do it. This is how we get it done. This is how we do it, do it. This is how a kingdom comes. This is how we do it, do it.
Anyway guys, we haven't found a lot to do except for a couple of mud piles. We've found a few mud flats. Maybe we'll play, we don't know, we'll go and have a look at them. But at the moment, we're going to stop for lunch and we're still out here at Gillimar and it's been a pretty scenic drive. So uh, we're going to have some lunch and see what we go from there. Cheers guys. Lunch. My car smells like the man from Snowy River just rounded up a herd of horses that have got bad digestive system. <laughs> All because of his mud patches, which are deep, by the way. Well, there's not much water in them, but they're very sloppy at the bottom. And this is what I think they call the mud poles out of Gillimar. And I've stuck a stick in these earlier, before lunch. And uh, pulling the stick out, it's kind of got a lot of suction at the bottom. So I don't know if we can talk one of the boys into doing it since we know Dylan's sunk his car before and had a bit of trouble getting it out. But these are the mud patches. These are the mud flaps here. I stuck a stick in them. And there's, there's quite a few out here actually. They go over there as well. Um, yeah, I stuck a stick in them and the stick went down a fair way and then had a bit of suction trying to come back out. So once you're in there, you commit it if you don't get stuck. And this is another deep, this one's actually deeper. I'm trying to talk Dylan into doing it, but I've done one. I did do one of them. And uh, yeah, my car's kind of got a real nice smell, which I'll actually walk it back over and show you. We've all just stopped and having lunch. Nice few sandwiches for lunch. Little soft drinks. And uh, we'll carry on and try and find these hill climbs that we're looking for. Unfortunately, Danny's not with us today. But we got Ben. He's running his stickers. Creative Customs. And from WA Forbes. There you go. He is part of the crew, so. Dylan's running his stickers today. So I'll show you. It's all Dylan's windscreen. Yeah. Oh, sorry, side screen. Yeah. Logo up there. And me, I have them on the front. Up there, along with my uh, other channel, mine and the wife's other channel. And on the back, in big letters, up here. As you can see, they're a little bit dirty. But that's because of the red dust. But yeah, that's us out here at lunch, having lunch. And we're going to move on a bit further. Find something to bring you guys. It's not all scenic stuff. So hopefully you stay tuned at the start of this video. And you're now watching this bit. To see if we can find some more stuff here for you out of Gillimer. Cheers, guys. Have what? Sure. You've got three options. You've got down there, which I think leads out to the same area, but it's a bit rutted. Or you've got this one here. It's got a nice mud hole. Or you get over there, and this side like just mud. Just slopped. Pretty much. Ooh. And this one's not too deep, you reckon? So Dylan's saying this one just slops. And it looks like just straight, like... Right? This will probably be the easiest one. The other one? Maybe. I might. I don't know. Depends how muddy it is, like suction. You get in. Oh. Uh, Just going to give it a bit of berries. You'd have to, once you get in there. Otherwise, You've got I'm deep. starting to think this might be the one. It's not too deep. It looks deep, but it's not too deep. It's just the bottom it's just in the middle is a little bit soft. So it'd have a bit you of suction any, on you. Seemed about that deep. So yeah, that would have probably a bit of suction on you. In this one, and then you got slops on this one. Well, that one there looks like an oily film mess. Yeah. But um, we'll go and see which ones we're going to do and get someone to video it. Pretty much just windy and ruddy, it's no no mud. So, oh, I don't know, maybe clearance. I should have a clearance to get over it, I might bottom. It's my tyres that'll do it. So, uh, yeah. 
We'll see which one the boys are going to take. I should make this one. See if it will uh, decide which one we're going to do and get someone a video of it. This would be good in the winter. All right, we'll hit one of the cars and we'll get into it. Which one are you doing, Dylan? I just don't like the look of that water. It looks rank. So what are you going to do? I'm going to do the right one. Give that a bit of fun. Look, it looks good in Alright, I'm going to go stand down there on the right one. So we've decided which one he wants to do. He doesn't like the look of this one here. Which is all oily looking and that. The other one over there is uh, dryish. I'll probably do that one over there. And Dylan's going to do this mud slosh. So, uh, we'll see how he goes. And here comes Dylan now, I'm going to try this one here. That's you a big guys are liking these videos, this is just a little bit out of Gillimer. Can you get a bit of bend coming through? Here he comes now. Been through there. Along the track, finding our way to do some stuff, having a bit of a play, going through a bit of mud. So I've got a bit of washing on my car to do. Dylan's going to give this little one a go. We've had some bigger ones than, than this as well. We haven't quite got on camera. Oh yuck! That actually looks wrong. And now Ben. And now I'm going to go back and get my car. That stinks. That stinks. Oh, dude, that's wrong. Oh, that smells. That really, really stinks. We're going to move on. Guys, we've been doing a bit of a hill climb. We've come through some rudder bits. And I'm walking up to Dylan now because apparently he's got another bit to do up here. So, uh, yeah. This has been kind of rutted. Ben's parked on an angle because of the old Land Cruiser handbrake. Been on a few leans. Hopefully the GoPro's on the roof got it. 
We're going to see what's up here for Dylan wants to do. I'm going to go up and have a look at this. See how we go. And then... Uh, Could end up a little nasty because of the, yeah. the hill across here. Yeah. If you slide, you're a goner. So uh, let's see what it's big for. Oh, oh! See what the big fella can do. Oh yeah. And he's up. So now we're going to get Ben up here. It's a bit of a lean. This could be very slippery here. If you take the wrong line, it's, you could slip off in there quite easily. So, uh, yeah. I'm so glad I wore shoes today. So, Ben is going to be coming up on his one as well. <coughs> hey, Ben's one. Here comes Ben. It's all about well placement here on this one because if you take the wrong one you'll slide off the side there. Ben up. When he finds a handbrake, it's my turn. He's got a rub coming up now. Dying in the passenger seat, probably holding on for dear life. <laughs> Huge drop down there to the left of me. climb there on the track that we've just done nothing major just find your right wheel placement probably be a bit slippery in the wet but because it's dry Prado had no problems getting up it so um, I'm gonna do a quick battery change and we're gonna go on and find some more stuff to do to bring to you guys on our channel WA Forbes Adventures pretty steep